Alright guys, today we are going to open another mystery box, okay? So previously, we actually spent about $45 for this box. And a lot of you guys actually mentioned that, um, yeah, it's not worth the money. This time, I was able to get it at a much cheaper price, which is about $29 because I use um, Amazon Prime. And I purchased it from, you know, instead of um, the US side, actually purchased from the local Amazon, which I was able to get like free delivery. So let's see, let's see, let's see this time, you know, $29, you know, we are pretty sure that, you know, the cards are pretty much like, you know, worthless card. But let's see, let's have some fun. And maybe we would be surprised, who knows, okay? But yeah, let's not have any high hopes. So let's get the first stack out. All right, there'll be a lot of players that I have absolutely no idea of, you know, especially the new players, um, you know, like year 2000. Uh, I basically know the players from the 90s. All right, Denzel Valentine. Okay, the cards is actually in a pretty decent condition, I would say, not the best. Dylan Brooks, this is definitely not, um, you know, like a big name or what. Sam Cursell, yes, from Houston Rockets. Back in um, the 90s, I used to watch him quite a bit. Yep, and this is actually him in um, Clippers uniform. I didn't know he went to Clippers, to be honest, because I was only watching him from, you know, 90s. Rodney Rogers, yep, one of the um, rookies back then. Pretty hype up, I would say, Rodney Rogers. Chauncey Bu Arps. Uh, this design is um very vintage looking, but I'm pretty sure this is not like um you know like an old player. Detroit Pistons. It's a 2007 card. Don't really know him to be honest. Who's this? Jack Vaughn. All of these are basically <laughs> unknown players to me. Brandon Rush. Who is this? Delonte West. Yep, so far, not very good. Um, after this deck, let's take from the back. Sometimes the back, the back are better. Why are we getting another F Sam Cassell? He is, you know, it's not really like a big player, a big name player. Jason Williams. Steve Smith, yeah, he was a decent player back then. Jason Kidd, um, he's a pretty Good passer, I would say. Very, very bad condition. The corner is already dented. Rodney Rogers again. David Wingate. Hair of Minor. Vin Baker. Okay, I was actually collecting, um, you know, Vin Baker cards back in the past. Clarence Weatherspoon, one of the um, 90s rookies. Richard Hamilton. This is a player which I have no idea. TJ Warren. Yeah, basically all of these are pretty disappointing so far. Will Barton. Keldon Johnson. Jimmy Butler is um, you know, a slightly bigger name I'd say. But this is just a very basic base card. Killian Hayes. Draft 2020 class. It comes in a sleeve, but I have no idea of it. Not you know, I'm not really familiar with him. Daniel Oturu. Okay, let's pick some cards from the back. Okay, let's see. Nope. Nope. Milo's Tudoxic, Landry Sharmet, Troy, Troy Brown, NBA draft pick, Chris Potter, Chris Hammond. Wow, this box is actually much worse than the previous box. Back then, we used to get um quite a number of um, uh, ninety stars. Paul Gasol, Larry Bird. Okay, at least we have a pretty big name, but the condition is so bad. Yep, pretty bad. When was this made? Twenty twelve. It's a nice card for this for sure. Very vintage looking, but uh, I won't be keeping it because the condition is actually very bad. Is this a? A Jordan. Oh, okay. That's not bad. At least we have one uh, Jordan Court Perspectives. What is this about? On Court. 
and let's see whether this is um how's the condition i mean i do have a mini album of um jordan cards but you can see this corner here is um it's not good but at least we have one jordan i i know this is um just a very basic subset it's nothing um it's nothing good probably probably worth a dollar or two oh oh wait a minute guys here comes the bigger names i guess but the condition is bad shaquille new i think i have this card corners are really bad i think this pack is this pack is just very disappointing i have this that's for sure david robinson dunk rank one okay um should i be keeping this I, re I already have three of this david robinson is my most favorite player i have two binders of his cards dennis rodman okay not not really interested um hakim olajuwon nice what is this 90 fine okay it's a subset it's not a, it's not like an insert card okay we can i can actually keep this scotty pippen okay patrick ewing um i don't really keep cuts of ewing so i'll probably you know just put this back into this stack scotty pippen let's have a look at the condition this is my first cut of um pippen in um trailblazers uniform okay at least the condition is is decent yep this is decent okay uh, i'm gonna keep this okay so now we have some relics um wow they actually put this relic in um with no sleeve tristan tristan thompson i have no idea who he is apprentice this is a, quite a nice autograph i would say but i have no idea who he is another relic okay nice miles bridges i heard of him but he's, he's not like a you know big name so there's nothing to be excited about but at least we have some relics um, which is you know but definitely still not worth the money Carlos Boozer okay what? there's actually like pen ink and it says one dollar one dollar and fifty cents yep so this is the value of this card one dollar and fifty cents <laughs> alright okay okay I think Okay, let's just say one card is about 20 cents probably the value of each card 10 cents to 20 cents taurine prince jalen rose okay decent clifford robinson yep one of the um 90s players that i, that I know sean cam yep he's he's pretty good back then uh he's from sonics very good at dunking that's for sure Okay, nothing really. I, I wouldn't be keeping it to be honest. Josh Smith, Flair Ultra card. If there are more of David Robinson, I'll definitely be keeping it. Elton Brand, Morris Peterson. This is actually a very nice card. Yeah, this is actually a very nice design. Very clean and simple. Yep. Yeah. Daniel Marshall A thick card, a pretty thick card Mark Price Yeah, he was a pretty good shooter Tony Dumas Hassan Adams The cards are really bad I think this is the last time I am purchasing this, that's for sure This box is worse than um, the previous one Okay, Don Caswell Wesley person Rashid Wallace, he was uh, one of the rookies in the 90s 
Chris Mullin, yeah, he was good along with Team Hardaway. Yep, but nah, not keeping it. Jason Williams, Danny Ferry, yeah, I know him. Vernon Maxwell, Nick Anderson. So all these are 90 stars. Players which I'm very familiar with. And all of these are players which I have no idea. <laughs> Malcolm Brogdon, but I really love the design of the, the, the cards nowadays. Yep, pretty nice design. Okay, let's see. Who's this? Sean Elliott, I like him. Yeah, I like Sean Elliott. Um, oh, we have a 90s Fleer card. I'm actually thinking of getting um, you know, a suit box of a 90s Fleer card and, and do an unboxing. The cards back then are really, really nice. You see, you can take a look at this design. It looks so vintage. It's really nice. I love the, you know, texture as well. Rick Smith, Maurice Taylor, Sean C. Bill Arps, 2004, Danny Inge, Eddie Jones. Yeah, he was actually a, quite a, a talented player back then. Yeah, pretty decent stats. Tyrone Corbin. No idea who these people are. Yeah, all of these are basically very. I mean, Stephen Adams is, you know, a little bit more famous. Greg Popovich. Okay, I like him. You know, he's a very good coach, that's for sure. So this is the last time I'm buying this, that's for sure. Larry Johnson, um, I think he was one of the, um, he was the number one draft pick, right? If I'm not wrong. Uh, pretty powerful player. Gerald Wilkins. And uh, we have some cards left inside. Let's see. Oh, we got Charles Buckley. Tops. Um, yeah, perhaps I can keep this. I don't mind. Del Curry. Yeah, you can see this um, stack of cards are basically quite bad. There's only a couple of um, big names right here. You know, perhaps there are big names, just that I do not know them. But nothing really interesting. Um, it's definitely a waste of money, but you know, hopefully this actually makes good content for you guys because the last video you guys actually enjoyed quite a bit, I think. And yeah, hopefully you know, in time to come, we'll be able to get more, more boxes. Yeah, I'm planning, I'm definitely planning to get, um, you know, better, um, better cards for, for you guys to, to, to see. Okay, stay tuned. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.